Hi everybody, it is March 9, 2019. I'm going to go through some weather information, but I want to first start with this video that was sent along to me, so I want to thank um, I want to thank all of you for passing along information. And if I forget to thank you in a video, please know that I am very grateful for the information that you send along because I certainly can't get to everything. And I also want to ask all of you, wherever you are in this country, the United States, please leave comments telling us what is happening in your area because it's very, very hard to um, gather all of the information with these storms. And it's very hard to read the sites, you know, the, the radar and uh, satellite sites because they show areas where there is rain and there isn't any rain. So um, let me just start. Tornado warned supercell. This is the tornado that hit Alabama last weekend and they're calling for more tornadoes but I'll get into that in one second but watch this and look at these clouds yes microwaves are going through these clouds and look at the clouds when he swings his camera over to the right well our right What was that? What was that? Was that lightning? Mm, don't think so. Oh, wow. Okay. I also want you to listen to a woman who talks about what she saw right before the tornado hit. And where is she? I apologize, I don't have an editing program, um, so please be patient. Okay. And the wind started changing. And I told Dance, I said, listen, listen, you know. And we looked in the sky and it just turned red. Like a big ball or something just blew up. And next thing we knew, I mean, it's like something coming out it to get you. It was bad. Mm -hmm. When we first saw it, you could see it seconds and seconds before it turned down. We saw it. Wow. It saw went it. up the sky. It, it lit it up. I've never seen that. Looks like it was not white lightning, but red lightning. Mm -hmm. And then it got real dark, and that's how you get it. And All right, I'm going to increase the volume. Okay. The wind started changing. And I told Dad something. The wind started changing. Listen, listen, you know. And we looked in the sky and it just turned red. Like a big ball or something just blew up. And next thing we knew, I mean, it was like something coming out it to get you. It was bad. When we first saw it, you could see it. Seconds and seconds before it turned down, we saw it. Wow, we saw went it. up the sky. It ended up. I've never seen it. Looks like it was not white lightning, but red lightning. And then it got real dark, and that's how you get here. And it didn't matter if it come through here. We didn't touch the turn. We knew it touched. We saw the tree. When we closed the door, tell you nothing. When we closed the front door, we saw a tree just going past our house. I said, Jazz, we got that cook we got the cook now. Well, I have heard um, conflicting uh, stories. People saying that they got a warning and other people saying they didn't get a warning of that tornado. 
but to see what looked like a ball of red or the sky turning red or red lightning. Uh, and we did see, you know, right at the beginning. Oh, wow. All right. Um, I've posted videos showing the signatures of the frequencies in use during that storm in Alabama. Um, and uh, so did Mike Morales. And I want to. Mike, they got one. is they got, anybody they else having. Coming your way. Is anybody else having a lot of computer problems? I can't believe how slow my computer is. I can't believe how many problems I'm having lately. Yes, I have an antivirus program and it's running um, constantly. Supposedly, it's a cleaning up my computer. I clean it um, regularly, so this should not be happening. Um, Mike Morales posted a video last night, 17 hours ago, and I really do hope that you click on the link below and listen to this interview, especially the interview starting at uh, 53 minutes here. Um, he's talking to somebody who apparently worked for my, um, John McCain, George Bush, and he discloses some information about what they are doing um, and the weather modification. Yeah, and I want to just, you know, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike, for doing all the work that you are doing to get this information out to everybody. Very, very important. So, of course, Google, yes, donate, Alabama tornadoes. Here we go. Yes, donate, do not, do not donate to Google, Red Cross. They collect money, and it does not go to the victims. So what do we have now? We have winter storms, threatened heavy snow, high winds in north, hail, and twisters south and east. This was just posted. Um, snow, hail, tornadoes, everything. We've got everything going on um, in many parts of the country. Look at this. You know, lightning, tornadoes, wild storms, incredible weather photos. Um, I want to bring you to a photo that they had. This was February 21, 2019. Carefree, Arizona. The snow. Alabama, Beauregard. Homes literally demolished. This was in 2018. It's a thunderstorm in Wichita, Kansas. Um, these are lightning strikes in Scottsdale, Arizona. Lightning strikes in Santa Barbara, California, March 5, 2019. You had amazing lightning right here in this area in California, um, which doesn't surprise me. I'm going to show you the frequencies in use in California uh, over, well, from the 7th to early this morning. Um, what I really appreciated hearing was this guy that's talking to Mike Morales. He's saying People don't understand how many people have been dislocated from these weather storms. And he said millions, millions have been dislocated. And I've been trying to get that point across. You have no clue how many millions of Americans. But then think about worldwide. By the way, you're getting severe storms in the UK and France. Um, check into it, guys. But... Yeah, millions and millions of Americans are without homes, struggling, and if we can't get it together to try to figure out how to help one another, then, you know, we're, we're all just screwed.
This is hell. <laughs> Fort Worth, Dallas area, and I'm going to show you the radar that was happening strong in Texas. Um, last night, I'd like to hear from you guys, Fort Worth, Dallas area, are things okay? Um, Olive Branch, Mississippi, hail larger than a quarter, 1.5 inch hail in Brownsboro, Texas, Keogh, Arkansas, tornado damage. That took place early this morning, I guess, or last night. Tornado on the ground near Slovak, Arkansas. Tornado warned thunderstorms produced wind damage in Haynesville, Louisiana. Large trees were knocked down. Uh, west of Keogh, Arkansas. Tornado damage. Lots of damage. And look at the tail. We always have this tail now with these storms that are produced, created, uh, manipulated, intensified by man. And I've shown this tail um, and I said that it either originates in Texas or in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so, I'm just, you know, posting this video because I don't want, I want you guys to be very attentive to what is happening in the weather uh, in your area because they're bringing about uh, damage in pockets, you know, around the country. Um, and if we don't stay on top of what's happening around the country, we're not going to get a really clear picture of how many people are having to suffer this weather warfare. Severe thunderstorms bring hail, high winds to East Texas. Yep. And I do know there are an awful lot of people who don't care unless it's a major Katrina or Harvey event. Um, I want people to really think about that because, you know, you had 23 dead in Alabama. You have so many people without homes now in Alabama. These are major events. It's a major event if, let's say, uh, a tornado just takes out your home. It is a major event to you, and, you know, it's, yeah, well, so in Cass County, people reported seeing a funnel cloud as the storms moved through, their, through that area. No damage was immediately apparent in Douglasville. Uh, no confirmation of a tornado that touched down. But they are bringing about tornadoes. And I posted a video recently showing that they had forecasted something like, I don't know, the number. It was like 1,500 tornadoes for the tornado season. How do you forecast, um, you know, tornadoes for the entire season? It, it's not possible. It is possible, however, if man is going to be bringing those tornadoes and they actually have a number that uh, of tornadoes that they plan on creating. Severe storms likely after 4 p.m. Now it is 2.53 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. After 4 p.m. Uh, beware West Tennessee, Northwestern Alabama, Northern Mississippi. Enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. Um, primary severe weather threat does not materialize until around 3 p.m. at the earliest in northwest Alabama. Um, let's see, LA County. You're not to be going to the beach. Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. 
LA County residents caution to avoid beach water after recent storms. Los Angeles County beaches Saturday. Avoid swimming, surfing, playing in ocean waters around discharging storm drains, creeks, and rivers. If you come in contact with contaminated water, you could become ill. The LA County Department of Public Health's website showed that all of the beaches in the county had bacteria levels that exceeded state standards. And I got a comment from someone who said that you know the rivers, the creeks, uh, the dams, uh, everything is well, they were concerned about the Oroville Dam because their uh, their repairs to that damage that happened, I don't know, a year and a half ago or a year, I don't know how long ago, can't remember, but they're not complete and uh, things are ready to give way. So if you are in areas where you are at risk. Stay on top of what is taking place. First alert, weather day for potentially severe storms uh, in the Tennessee Valley this afternoon and evening. Um, the threat was upgraded across northwest Alabama and this was posted at 12.44 p.m. So only two hours ago. Upgraded across northwest Alabama, areas long and west of I-65. Not surprised to find these storms so often now, what you are seeing, they seem to travel along the interstate. What do we have along the interstates? Every interstate, we have Gwen Towers. Gwen Towers that emit extremely low frequencies either through the ground or into the atmosphere and they use those Gwen Towers to modify the weather. So yeah, it's along and areas along and west of I-65 are under the greatest threat for severe storms. Primary th threats look to be damaging winds, gusts of 55 to 65 miles per hour, heavy rain which could lead to flash flooding and tornadoes. This threat is dependent dependent on how unstable the atmosphere will become through the ap uh, afternoon and evening. Okay, um, do you remember ever getting a forecast like this? It depends on how unstable the atmosphere becomes. Well, generally what we had uh, prior to this bizarre forecasting now that we get was they were able to forecast storms and they didn't say, well, it's dependent upon how unstable the atmosphere will become. They're writing that because it could become very unstable depending on the use of the frequencies that man will be um, playing around with. And I so wish people would just wake up. Photos of storm damage across central Arkansas. So the damage doesn't look too severe, but you guys in Arkansas, you're the ones who will know more. Please leave comments below. Um, East Pulaski County. So you can click on the link, you can look more closely at these uh, pictures, but tractor trailers flipping over, mobile homes um, just being blown away. Uh, this took place last night. Mobile home flip, two injured during central Arkansas storms. So. Um, stay safe, guys. Stay safe. What else do we have? Thousands of trees fell across the highway with loud cracking and popping noises. They fell on power lines over an extended area of the highway 
causing power outages that are still not completely repaired. Where was this? Portland, Oregon. Portland. Uh, one hour ago, we weren't prepared. Residents, travelers, stranded by storm. Thousands of trees. Boom. Gone. Down. Felled. Well, did you, uh, anybody in Portland expect any of this? <sighs> All right. Severe storms likely over the weekend in the south. Blizzard conditions in northern plains. I don't want to listen to this guy. Um, Rockies to the Midwest and the deep south over the weekend. 24 states from California to Virginia are under snow and wind alerts. That was on Friday. Um, you know, it's interesting because I went to a site that I'm going to go to in a second, and I saw nothing. There was no precipitation anywhere. The radar was in use, but um, these things are, they're like created out of nowhere. So Dallas-Fort Worth area, storms caused damage in North Texas, Texas, and more severe weather is is expected soon. So they're bringing more severe weather to you. Bricks were ripped off a church in Mesquite. Mesquite. Um, several roofs were damaged. <coughs> now they bring little bits of uh, damage to just pockets of the country and uh, I think Anybody who is experiencing this kind of damage needs to get attention for it. But look at this video here on the Star Telegram. These clouds are insane this morning. Yes, they are insane. Well, when you know that you're um, now, come on down. Um, when you know that your radar has been blasting, you're going to get. You're going to see that. Now I've got to click off these pages, so I'm going to pause you. Okay, so this is happening now. Look at these nice frequencies, microwaves in Nebraska and the extremely low frequency hit coming out of Kansas into Nebraska. Right here. Boom. Um, and you can see how nicely defined it is. Yes, man is bringing about the weather. Man is controlling, I believe, every Every storm, every weather front that we are seeing, here is that beautiful tail, straight edged, and you can see the microwaves down here off the coast of like Galveston. Extremely low frequencies from Galveston or Houston on up north in Texas. Um, now, I've heard from subscribers in uh, Michigan, Maine, they saying that they're supposed to be getting a whole lot of snow again. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you, uh, just days ago, there was nothing. There was literally nothing. So I'm trying to figure out how, how are they going, where is it going to, what is happening that they're going to be getting snow? Well. Because man is going to create it. And when I see this tail, it is a signature of man creating weather. Right here. So let's go here. Oh, wow. Superheating. Superheating. 
in the area where they're calling for severe storms. I've seen less microwaves in use with these storms, but the high frequency heating, that's happening right here. High frequency heating of the ionosphere and then bounces back to Earth um, with extremely low frequencies and then add that, add all of that um, to the Gwen Towers, the extremely low frequencies being emitted from those towers, you've got, you've got anything you want to bring to it. So I went to the National Mosaic to see if I could see any Harp next red cert, uh, signatures, and I can see them. You would have to, if you're not used to seeing them, then you would have to come over here and pay very, very careful attention. You see the straight edge. All of these are signatures of man creating weather. Um, now, I did, I can see the, just a little bit on the periphery of these storms that indicate HARP or the next red Doppler stations are in use. So I went to next rad radar on the College of DuPage and wait one second I've got to go back so you go down to next rad composite composite radar okay the tail classic signature of man creating the storm. Look at all the radar stations in use, all of the gray uh, circles that get bigger. Look at what's flashing in Southern California, which I'll get to in one second. So let's just uh, zoom into some areas here, sub-regional sectors. Ah, you can see Harp very clearly right down here. I'll stop it and you see the circle right here? That is a classic signature of the Doppler radar station, high frequency heating. You can see the extremely low frequencies, which are the very straight lines, but this very perfectly defined circle that's the high frequency heating. That's all of the massive red that you are seeing here. Um, so we've got this Doppler station giving us a very clear signal. Right here. And that's another one, so they're intersecting. Oh boy, look how nicely defined this little section is in here, how defined it is right here. That's not Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not work in perfect look at this. So they're calling for more tornadoes, more tornadoes, Tennessee Valley, um, Mississippi, Alabama. Not a surprise to me when I see the uh, harp rings. That's what we used to call them and Twenty eleven, twenty twelve, but look at this is Louisiana down here. This is Mississippi. You've got pulsating high frequencies going on, which are quite powerful. Let's just look at another region. 
Um, ah, another beautiful. Oh, two intersecting. This is up in uh, the Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Great Lakes area. On into Canada. Harp next red, high frequency heating going on. Making your weather, bringing to you your snow and all of the high, uh, the extremely low frequencies you can see. If you look very carefully, you can see all of the very defined cutouts of the precipitation right here. And, oh, well, they're all over. They're all over. Um, wow, it's... Yeah, we've got the next red hawk oh, happening and intersecting. And look, you know, look at the look at the radar and you can see the extremely low frequencies scalar squares perhaps. And they're calling for more severe storms in this area of Texas. Right there, you can see it happening. The extremely low frequencies, scale of squares, um, manifest. Well, I could perhaps just. waste your time going through all areas. Well, don't want to do that. I do want to see what's going on right down here in Louisiana. Ooh, let's see. Yep. Nice. Our next red. Intersecting. Louisiana, Mississippi area. And another intersecting, you've got three because you have one right down here extending into the Gulf. But all of these, uh, you see, <laughs> radar pulsing away. Now, I might get comments from people saying, they're radar stations. They're supposed to be pulsing away because they're tracking planes. Then you would see this always. We don't see this always. A quick look at Southern California. Ah, harp next round, pulsing away. Let's try to go a little bit further north. Yep. Well, Unfortunately, we cannot be you know, definite in terms of what is going to be happening, where, and when. Um, but you've got these high, these extremely low frequencies in Arizona, uh, Utah, California. You've just been blinking away like a Christmas tree. You can see the extremely low frequencies which is up north right here, which, what is that, the Sacramento area? Um, 
but these have been pulsing away for days, days. Let me just show you what I have captured. This was um, early morning. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Early morning. Look at all of the radar. And the extremely low frequencies that are being shot off from Houston on up to Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas, where you're having your storms. Yeah, radar has been operating uh, almost full out in the southeast. Look at this. Extremely low frequencies, California. Look at the straight edge right here. Uh, yeah, it's not good, guys. It's just not good. There's your pulsating radar, Southern California. How are you guys feeling all over the country? Because they have been using the radar pretty much in the southeast, um, but there are also areas where, like a huge, powerful, extremely low frequency being emitted from Missouri into Arkansas. Wow, and you had really powerful storms in Arkansas. Here is your next red harp signature. And where is this? This is, um, I think that was Arkansas. This is Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas. Okay. So this was uh, 20 minutes into the new day today. And you can see how this is being pushed how straight edged it becomes. And this is literally being pushed, the high frequency heating, all of that red, and it's being pushed up north. Guys, I'm tired of this. You know, once again today, that massive cloud cover, uh, rain yesterday. Um, Look how straight edge this is. This is very obvious that this is not a natural happening. They're using the frequencies to bring it about. But I do want to show you, you know, South Carolina, in the last two days, the frequencies have been high. Um, this is the 8th at 10.40. Interesting that hours, hours, hours later, what you're seeing is still this mound of precipitation. You just saw it a little while ago. You can see the microwaves the ripples that you're seeing in the precipitation in use. So that was, uh, yeah, 1040 at night on the 8th. Look at all of the, the I mean, th this is powerful. They're using these frequencies. In, they're incredibly powerful. And it affects everything. It affects you and your animals and wildlife and, you know, now you can't go and use, go into the oceans in Southern California, the LA County beaches are contaminated with bacteria and what are they dropping on us? Um, 
Yeah, this gets a little annoying. Oh, Carol, annoying? What are you talking about? That's an understatement uh, for the year. So this was um, on the 8th at approximately 8.30. And yeah, these very powerful fre frequencies were going off in Southern California uh, for quite a while. Days, guys. Days. So if you are experiencing any kind of mood changes, are you experiencing any kind of uh, physical pain, or has the tinnitus, however you experience it, with you know uh, either buzzing or chirping or whatever, um, has it gotten a whole lot louder? Look at these frequencies, Southern California. This is the 8th at 8.43 p.m. Last night, 8.43 p.m. So these frequencies are coming uh, from the South Carolina, Georgia border into Florida. Oh, wow. Lots of frequencies happening. This is right where they're calling for these severe storms. So this was last night. Um, this was the precipitation. This is what it looked like. Got this extremely low frequency being set off. Um, that was the North Carolina area. Look how straight edge that is. So you've got really powerful frequencies coming out of Mississippi. Texas area, you know, so many, I, I don't, we're seeing different signatures now. We're seeing these little lights. Um, and it's very clear, guys, that this is not this is not precipitation right there. But you see this extremely low frequency. This is coming into Arkansas um, from Missouri. I go back up north. One second. right here. Now I didn't go on a map to see exactly where the storms were in Arkansas. Uh, it was what Slovak and Keo are they in this area of Arkansas? Um, but you're seeing a lot of scalar squares within these storms. Another extremely low frequency coming out of um, Nebraska. Yeah. We are in a weather war, guys. It's, there's no denying it. Um, look at this. Here we have the microwaves that are emitted across South Carolina coast. Massive radar, powerful radar, turned on. Georgia, northern Florida, Arkansas, Louisiana, Extremely low frequency coming out of the Panhandle, Florida, traveling right along the coast.
and you wonder why your sleep is disturbed, you wonder why you're not feeling well, you wonder why you're moody, you wonder why you're depressed, you wonder why you have no motivation or you can't get off the bed. Here we have still, you know, this, we've had this extremely low frequency shot from Missouri into Arkansas in the exact same place and now it is the 8th of March and this is 2 21 p.m. A nice hit from Southern California into Arizona. All weather is controlled, guys. It's that's just what it is. Just what it is. So this was yesterday in the afternoon. And as you can see, very little precipitation. You got pockets of the green, but wow, does that become very defined and squared off right here. That's Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio area. Um, that's it. So then it just blows up. Well, they can do that with frequencies. Oh boy, guys. Why can't we just go back to living our normal life? This is the 7th at um, 11.45 p.m. Look at all the frequencies still going on. Coast of uh, South Carolina. We've got these bands of precipitation wow. that, well, it may be chaff. No, it's not. Not chaff, so. Yeah, they blew this thing up. I haven't seen uh, radar signatures like this in quite a while, but I've been seeing them now for days on end. And guys, just be very careful, okay? Because they are going to be bringing perhaps not massive damage but with all of these storms <laughs> damage unfolds and unfortunately even if you don't experience any kind of physical damage to your home to your property you're experiencing damage from all of these pulsating frequencies extremely low frequencies high frequencies uh, microwaves damaging everything. Here we go. So we've had that extremely low frequency shot from Missouri into Arkansas going for about 48 hours. All right, guys, sorry that my uh, videos are so long, but just consider it like a, a live show that's not live. Please leave comments. What's going on in your area? What is going on with you? Look at Harp, uh, Harp Nexrad shooting off and the extremely low frequencies right here in Southern California. What are they going to be bringing to you? Stay safe everybody. Stay safe everybody and Get much love, um, care for one another, help one another in your communities. You know, don't wait for people to come and ask. Just if you know of anybody in need, go and ask them what you can do for them.